We're focused on enabling farmers with technology throughout the post-harvest process. Uh, and right now that means we're building hardware that automates grain management for them. And we've built out IoT-enabled wireless sensors, uh, use data analytics to preserve their crop and their grain storage. So what we help with is, is the two biggest challenges, and that's knowing when to run aeration to maintain the uh, the quality of the grain and then uh, reducing the time checking the quality of manually climbing bins, uh, checking uh, the grain's condition and kind of that two balance step of we run the uh, aeration automatically uh, and then you can monitor and see the quality changes from your, your smartphone so you really don't have to uh, spend time checking bins regularly. So we, we came up with the idea in the fall of 2015 and really worked towards uh, you know, participating in the COZAD competition uh, in the spring of 2016. And uh, coming out on top of that event really helped us, uh, you know, make the jump, if you will, and, and uh, continue it full time into this past summer, doing a lot of customer discovery, uh, putting our solution away and talking to farmers about the problem, meeting with different stakeholders in the grain industry to learn about uh, their difficulties that they face uh, in, in the post-harvest process. Uh, and then, you know, following that customer discovery, we, we were really confident in making the jump to uh, develop the product out further so that we can put something in people's hands and get feedback on, on you know, the true benefits that they, they'd receive if we, if we had something that was usable. Our main goal uh, here in early 2017 is to, to take what we've built out uh, and start testing it. We'll be testing it at a facility uh, right outside of town uh, here in Champaign. Cast21 makes waterproof exoskeleton casts for healing broken bones. Our co-founder Jason has been in over 50 casts in his lifetime, so he was all too familiar with all the hardships that came with traditional casting. Our technology is a way to protect any amorphous shape like a cast using a rigid support structure that starts from something very flexible. So our device starts as a flexible hollow sleeve. Then you would pull it on over the patient's affected limb and inject a two-part liquid resin. Inside the sleeve, the resin will harden into a solid, creating the strong and sturdy cast. From a patient point of view, the current cast is not waterproof. So every time someone wants to wash their hands or shower, they need to keep it out of the water or wrap it in a bag or a plastic wrap. And on a clinical side, Currently there's no way to see the joint as it's being set and if the cast does get wet and you have a wound underneath, the only way to know that there's an infection is if there are secondary symptoms such as a fever or it starts oozing. One of my favorite milestones was being able to secure funding. It was a really great uh, point of external validation that what we were doing is meaningful. In the next three months, we will be doing a lot of bench testing to prove out the efficacy of our product. The next six months, we'll be having our first human trials, and by the end of the year, you can expect to see a cast on a patient. We bring computer vision to construction management. So we take images and videos from the job site and create 3D models of them and match them to the construction plans. And this helps the construction managers coordinate and identify where, where delays are likely to happen and then coordinate their team to avoid those delays. On a typical job site, they may capture images of the site using either handheld cameras, video cameras, time-lapse cameras, or drones. And currently, all those photos often just go in Dropbox folders for, uh, for documentation. They're not really used to help the planning process. What we can do is we can automatically figure out where those photos were taken from, and then we can create 3D models from multiple photos, and we can localize those photos with the 3D models. The construction sites also typically already have 3D plans that show where the work is going to be put in place and by whom and at what time. And so we can align the photos and the 3D models that we create to those plans, which are called building information models, so that everybody can see at the same time what's planned and what's actually been constructed. What our software does is we, we capture the reality with the photos, the 3D models, and videos, 
and we align it to the plans so that, uh, so that we can instantly show the, the managers what the difference is between what is planned and what's the reality. We also have algorithms that analyze productivity, progress, and, uh, and constraints in the schedule to highlight locations that are at risk for delay in the future. So that in weekly coordination meetings, instead of focusing on who's behind and why, you can actually focus on where things are likely to be delayed if you don't make improvements to the plans.